Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. How are you all doing? It's been quite a long time. Yes, if not more, almost three weeks. I know it's like more than two weeks. I've not really been posting because of moving home. Moving home can be so, so, so stressful with four kids. You can imagine. Oh my gosh, with four kids and moving home. So the kids had uh, two weeks for their midterm and the same two weeks we used to, you know, move home. It hasn't really been easy, gradually putting things in place. And today being Monday, 11th of um, November, they started school. Yeah, first day of school after midterm. So as soon as I dropped them off school, I went to the shopping to get some things. And that stackable basket is one of the things I wanted so that I can be able to arrange my fruits and the uh, vegetables. I was able to get that. The last time I checked, that was two days ago, I couldn't get the one I liked. And fortunately for me today, I just saw this color and it was very okay for me. You know, so it's able to put my vegetables and fruits in place, as you can see in the video. So I got some mangoes, uh, we had apples already. I got some avocado. We had the uh, cucumber, orange, and tangerine already. So I'm gradually just putting things in place to make the kitchen look nicer and for me to have space beside that sink area. As you can see, the sink is there. So food being there is not okay. Yeah. So once I did that, you see that um, meat behind me, those bags of lilac behind me. <laughs> That's cooking, waiting for me. I'll be making some stew and soup and yeah. So these are some of the things I got. You see that jollof rice, go and try it. That is if you're in London, try sea moon jollof rice and come back and thank me. If you don't come back and tell me thank you, lolo, I'll be angry with you. You see that seaman jollof, go and try it and thank me later. And the last item, that ogre, is three for five pounds. I don't know how my body is doing me because it's paining me. But that's by the way. So I'm just putting things in place and all of that. So this rice dispenser is one of the things I got from Temu. And I have really enjoyed it. Yeah, you can try it. It's very nice. So after doing that, I decided to calm myself down with some fresh juicy mango. <laughs> Am I the only one who likes to eat her mango beside the sink? I don't eat my mango elsewhere if not beside the sink. Because you know it can be messy. So I just want to get done with it, wash my hands, and that's it guys. But after eating the mango, I felt something was missing. That was when I grabbed a plate of jollof rice. I made yesterday night. This is me energizing myself so that I can be able to come and cook the stew and the soup, you know. Yeah, so I just had to eat food, my brothers and my sisters, and the food is so yummy. You see the way I'm shaking my legs? That is how sweet the food is. <laughs> so you come and join me, okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If today is your first time watching me, this is Lola's Kitchen and Family. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't followed me, please follow me for some more. And I will appreciate that, guys. So, uh, at the point of eating this food, I realized that the impossibility of me cooking that soup and stew... <laughs> Hey, it's high. <laughs> this food was already, you know, taking over me. It's high. Guys, at some point, it was very, 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 very obvious to me that I can no longer go on to make that food. That food will have to wait to maybe tomorrow or in the evening. So, guys. I have reached my limits. <laughs> you can see. 
I have reached my limit. And the next thing that is calling my name is sleep. And I cannot kill myself. The soup, the stew, they have to wait. Lolo has to rest and get more energy to go and stand and cook soup and stew. See you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, bye, bye.